Hi everyone, it's Melissa and I am coming to you with another Bath and Body Works collection video. Um, this one's going to be all of my very large shower gel collection. Um, it's going to have, s I'll start with winter, go into fall, and like spring and summer since last. Um, bear with me, this video is probably going to be a little long, um, but... The next video I think I'm filming tonight, if I have energy after I put all this stuff away, is all my body sprays by Bath & Body Works I'm thinking about doing tonight for you guys. Um, and then if I order any more next week, I'll just show you the stuff in an SAS haul uh, video because I'm not going to reshoot my updated uh, collection video, but um, I wanted to start filming these. So without further ado, let's get into this. I got one of the Tis the Season bubble bath and body wash. Uh, this sounds really nice. Uh, and Tis the Season is a blend of red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. You can smell the cinnamon and apple. It smells good. I like it. I only got one. I should have got more, but I didn't think of it. I should have grabbed like a vanilla bean one. Then I have... Four, five, six, seven. I have eight of the hot cocoa and cream shower gels. I'm going to get two more, so I have ten. Uh, the fragrance notes are creamy cocoa, mini marshmallows, and vanilla musk. It smells really good. It kind of smells like Tootsie Pops um, or brownies. It doesn't really smell uh, like Swiss Miss to me or like hot cocoa. Um, the, like I said in my other video, the thing that smells most like hot cocoa to me is, um, the hand sanitizer and the candles. Then I have one, two, three, four, five. I have seven of these, I think. seven of these of uh, the Mary Cherry Cheer and the scent notes on this are maraschino cherry, pomegranate cider, raspberry blossom, and sugared musk with black cherry almaretto. It smells really good like I said before it smells a lot like the uh, cranberry sugared cranberry cider. Um, they smell pretty similar I think. I know a lot of people don't think so but I think it smells similar. Then I have a Spice Gingerbread Swirl. I have two of them. Um, I have one that I put in my shower and then one for backup. But it's not like a scent I'll buy again. Uh, it's warm, warm Ginger Snap, Fresh Nutmeg, Orange Zest, Spice Brown Sugar, and Roasted Tonka. Um, like I said before, it reminds me of like the Catholic Church at like Christmas time. And all the incense burning and everything. It kind of smells like that to me. I know I'm weird for using that analogy, but that's what it reminds me of. Then I have four champagne toasts. And the champagne toast scent notes are pink champagne, black currant, uh, chambord. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but we're going to just go with that. Sparkling nectarine and sugared musk. Looks like this. The back looks like this. So you guys can see the scent notes if you want to actually read what it is. <laughs> um, I like it. I like it better. Out of all the um, forms of uh, champagne toast, I like it in the shower gel the most. And then I have 10 Vanilla Bean Noels. Um, I have one of the old-fashioned style Vanilla Bean Noel. And I know a lot of people get mad when you show, like, your almost empty bottle and I'm sorry but this is honestly the one I have in my shower right now um, so I just pulled it out to show you guys and it is vanilla bean noel a warm blend of fresh vanilla bean warm caramel and a rich comforting cream um, that's what it used to say the new ones which I have here I have to carry them all because I have a ton I think I have 11 of these actually Yeah, I have 11 vanilla bean notes. My bad. Um, the updated version of is fresh vanilla bean, 
sugar cookie, and warm caramel whipped cream and snow-kissed musk. I like it a lot this season um, because it has like a sugar cookie scent and I've never smelled it this good before. So I stocked up and I got 10 of them in the, this form and then I have an 11th, which I'm almost done with, so I'll put it away for my empties if I remember to put it away because I tend to throw stuff out and then realize, oh crap, I should have kept that for my empties video. Don't mind me, I'm trying to move these so I can get closer to the camera and film this. Um, what other ones do I have? Oh, and then I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of the In The Stars shower gel. Um, like I said before, I didn't like this at first, but now I love it. It's Starflower Sandalwood Musk Sugared Tangelo White Argwood and Radiant Amber. It smells really good. I like it. It's a nice perfumey scent. Um, and it's not overly powerful. It just, I just love it. And the smell lasts a long time, which is nice. Then I have Snowy Morning. This is the one I don't like. It smells a lot. Let me smell it again. Yeah, it smells a lot like a pine tree. Not a big fan of the pine tree scent. I like it in candles, don't get me wrong, and like, um, wax melts, but... I don't want to smell like a pine tree. And it is frosted uh, bergamot, mistletoe berry, fresh balsam, snow-kissed lavender, and frozen juniper. Then I got a winterberry wonder. The packaging is really cute. Uh, it's red winterberry, red ruby apple, sparkling cranberry, camello blossom, and uh, crystal vanilla. Here's the back of it, so if you guys want to see what it says back there um, if you don't already have it then i have sparkling nights this one is iced pear sheer freesia sugared coconut sandalwood and white musk now this one i like this one's not bad i would probably repurchase this one again um at least the shower gel i would i don't know about the rest then I just have one of the snowflakes in cashmere, um, which again, the scent notes are cre cashmere cream, a shimmering vanilla, frosted clementine, amber, and uh, caramel woods. Then I have an old-fashioned twisted peppermint. I'm not a fan of this, um, but I have it and it's still good, so I'm going to use it up. It's I just don't like the cooling effect it gives you, and it's... Uh, so smooth over skin, rinse and enjoy the fragrance of our exclusive Twisted Peppermint, a tempting blend of cool, refreshing mint, white sugar, and just a hint of rich vanilla. I like the packaging on this one. I don't like the scent. Uh, my boyfriend's niece really likes it, but I didn't want to give her a like, used bottle of Twisted Peppermint. Then I have Snowberry, Snow Kiss Berry from back in the day, um, and it is... Soothe over your skin, rinse, and enjoy the fragrance of our exclusive snowberry uh, festive blend of juniper berry, sparkling cranberry, amber, and white musk. It smells good. I think. Let me just check the scent out. I think I made this one to replace this one because it's still a berry scent. It's just not snow kissed berry. Then I have winter candy apple in the old packaging. Um, not a fan of this one because it's very really strong in cinnamon spice. Um, and obviously winter candy apple is mouth watering blend of crisp apple, candied orange, and rich cinnamon spice. And then that's all the winter ones I have. Now we'll jump into the fall. I have three of the marshmallow pumpkin lattes in this form. And the scent notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. And I like this one. It smells really good. My boyfriend hates the smell, but I like it. 
I can't remember why he doesn't like it. I just know he doesn't like it. I think he doesn't like the musk in it. Then I have a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This is okay. I don't think I'd ever get it again. It's heirloom pumpkin, autumn cinnamon, ginger snap, and whipped vanilla. Like I said, it's okay. I wouldn't get it again. One's enough for me. Then I have one of the autumn nights shower gels, which is just Friday night lights, inspired by Friday night lights, cool air, and varsity leather jackets. And it's got shea butter, aloe, and vitamin E. I forgot what this one smelled like. Hmm. It smells stronger in the shower gel than it does in the, the body cream. At least to me it does. Then I got two sweater leathers. I won't read the scent notes on this or the inspired by notes. You guys probably know what they are already. Um... Then I have three of the pumpkin picking, which I really like. Um, the shower gel, I'm not a big fan of. I don't, that's why I only got three of them. I really do like the body spray in it. But for some dumb reason, like, the shower gel has, like, this weird, almost, like, to me, like, curdled cream or, like, really buttercreamy smell. I'm not a big fan of that. I like straight-up pumpkin pie smell like the spray has. Then I have two bonfire bashes. So they have little pails. Then I have two whipped vanilla and spice, which is whipped vanilla, ground cinnamon, creamy tonka, and golden honey. Just to get through this faster, I might not read scent notes. Um, if you comment below and want to know a scent note on a certain um, scent, I will give it to you in a reply um, just because I'm looking at how much more stuff I have and we're already 12 minutes in so it's gonna be a while otherwise um, I have three of the sugared cranberry cider there's one behind here and these are really good and it's just wild cranberries juicy mulberries plum blossoms and velvet musk And then I have one of the Bright Autumn Blooms, and it is Warm Marigold Petals, Cedar Leaf, Sparkling Bergamot, and Sandalwood. This one is, like, really flowerful. Honestly, it doesn't smell like fall to me at all. Like I said, with the body cream, I don't think it smells like fall either. It's more, like, to me, smells like spring. Um, then I have Champagne, Apple, and Honey. I have two of them which is the Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. Then I have Crisp Orchard Leaves. I just have one of these. Um, and it's Autumn Pear Slices, Cool Air, Fresh Picked Apple, and Oak Leaves. I guess I will just continue reading the scent notes because I'm on a roll. Um, I do have, I only have two body scrubs, so I figured I'd throw them in here. I have the coffee bean scrub from like last year and it's like heavy exfoliator. And then this one came with that basket I, I told you guys about um, with like the black sheep and everything for aromatherapy. It's uh, the Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile um, Soothing Body Scrub. I haven't tried it yet but it smells really good. And it's just chamomile oil, bergamot oil. So. And I like this stuff. It, it's nice. And then I have an Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile Shower Gel or like foam bath and body wash. So it could be like a bath thing or, or a shower gel. Then I have two peach and honey and almond. I wish I would have got like one of the lotions, but they weren't giving like selling them anymore. Um, I'll probably try like Amazon or something to see if I can find one for not super expensive, just so I have the set, um, and then the spray too because I don't have that. It's an irresistible blend of summer peaches, mimosa flowers, and honeyed almonds wrapped in creamy vanilla and clementine. I just have two of them. It smells really fruity. I really like it. 
Um, it's not my favorite, but it's, a, it's you know, it smells really good. This smells like, literally, to me, it smells like sour Skittles. And it's the lemon pomegranate and cream. It's a light airy blend of lemon cream, red pomegranates, and iced raspberries topped with white woods and peony petals. If you hear something in the background, that would be my cat purring. He wanted to be in here while I'm making this video, so he's making a bunch of noise because now he's regretting being locked in the bathroom with me while I film. Then I have up apple, apple blossom and lavender, which I really like this scent. Um, I'm happy that I was able to get two of these. Um, I don't really think I need more than two because... I had like nine of the freaking or ten of the lotions. Now I have two, which is so much better and more manageable. Um, I have, and it, it's like a pretty big bottle, even though it's only ten, you know, it's ten ounces like the other ones. Um, so it'll take me a little bit to use it up. It takes me a while to use up the shower gels, even though I use them every day. Um, it's a hand-picked bouquet of apple blossoms, fresh-cut lavender, and jasmine petals dotted with passion fruit and sparkling beans. Queens, Queens. I'll just show you the back of it so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the Q word. <laughs> then I got a coconut lime breeze. Um, it smells like a lime popsicle. That's why I got it because I'm not a fan of coconut and it doesn't really smell like coconut. Um, it's a blend of sheer coconut water, white orange blossom, and zesty lime infused with jasmine petals and island musk. It's just a nice summer scent. I figured if it's like really hot out, I'll wear it or something. Um, an oldie but a goodie, I have a little bit left of it, is Tropical Passion Fruit. I wish they would come back with this. And it is, um, do they even have the scent notes? Oh yeah, blended with tempting apricot nectar, exotic papaya, and coconut cream with passion fruit fragrance is intoxicating, intoxicatingly tropical and simply irresistible. I think, if I remember right, they're coming out with something similar to this, this season. Um, I could be wrong, but I remember reading something that had passion fruit and papaya in it. So if it kind of smells like this, I might get rid of this and get the new stuff. Um, but who knows? I'm trying to, like, not buy stuff and use this stuff up. Then I have watermelon lemonade. Still on the fence if I like this one. It's Jubilee watermelon, frozen lemon, pink peony... Pink poppies and green mandarin and spun sugar. Um, some of the forms. This is not too bad, but I know I had it in one of the forms, and it to me smelled like cat piss, um, which is a horrible smell if you've ever smelled cat pee. So I don't know if um, I just got one that smells better or what, but some one of the forms I don't like because it smells like cat pee. I don't know if it's the lotion or not. Then I scored this because a uh, sales associate put it on the floor and didn't realize they weren't supposed to, and whoever checked me out didn't realize that uh, it came out do not uh, sell. So I got this for $2.30. I missed out on this complete line of the Tutti Dolce. Uh, and this is Sweet Lemon and Buttercup. It is Juicy Meyer Lemon, Creamy Buttercup, Petals, and Fluffy mang Meringue sprinkled with sugar. It smells really good. I wish I would have got the praline and praline and something it I heard about in this. And I wish I could have found that. But literally, like I said, somebody mistakenly put this on the floor. So that's how I got it. Then I have Sweet Summer Kiss, which is a nice fruity scent. It is... Excuse me, I just finished eating dinner. Uh, blushing jasmine, apricot nectar, and driftwood musk. It's just a nice fruity floral scent. Um, it's kind of light, which I like because sometimes you don't want like a really heavy scent um, in the summertime. Then I have one of my new favorites, Be Enchanted. I love the packaging. It is um, the... Enchanting scent is a sparkling blend of iced pomegranate, sugar petals, and chilled passion fruit frosted with notes of whipped vanilla and light musk. 
when I do my body sprays, I won't read any scent notes. Well, I don't think they have scent notes, so you guys won't have to hear me repeat myself like a thousand times. Um, I only have one of these. I actually thought I had two. So I think my next order I'm going to place, I'm going to get another one of these, even though they're like $5 online. And I think I got this for three fifty because they had it at 75 in my store. And now I can't find any of it. I got, this is my favorite scent of one of my favorite scents. And it is the Wild Rose and Apple. I wish they would come back with this so bad. And it is Steam Distillation Extracts. So it's Steam Distilled Natural Rose Oil, Pink Peony, Apple Blossom, and Soft Musk. It smells so good. I love this scent. Um, I actually broke down and went on to Amazon to get some of these back when I realized this came out and I couldn't find it in any of the stores. Which I don't recommend doing on Amazon because it is really expensive. I think for like two of these, I paid like 30 bucks when you can get them for way cheaper in the store. But I really wanted the scent. Then because before I knew this scent was going to be a permanent fixture, I bought four of these shower gels in Rose, which is the Airy Rose Water Blended with Jasmine Petals and Creamy Musk. It's just a light rose scent. It's not as good as the... Uh, wild rose and apple but it's a good close one. Oh, i can sit closer to the camera now because i literally was like sitting back because i couldn't get closer because i had body shower gels in my way i have two velvet sugars really love the scent discovered it this sas never had it before um i don't even know if i had it back in the day when i was collecting it uh before i went on like my hiatus from collecting uh, savor savor every moment as you indulge in your sweetly scrumptious blend of red velvet cream and golden plum laced with swirl of sugared musk, pink jasmine, and wild strawberries. I like this a lot. I wish I would have found more than two, but like all my stores now, all they have is the body cream and the uh, lotion. And I don't need more lotion. Um, and I don't need more body cream because body cream goes bad fast. Then I have one of the French Lavender and Honeys. Not a fan, big fan of it. I got it last summer because I was like collecting everything. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not my cup of tea. I'll use it to use it up, but I won't ever repurchase it. And it's a fresh blend of flowering French Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Nectarine de Provence, warmed with sun-kissed honey and white oak musk. It's not a bad smell, I just, it's not my thing. Um, oh, Lord, let me scoot up more. I'm not going to lift all of these because I have so many of them. I have 10 of these Sweet Magnolia and Clementine shower gels. Uh, it is Sweet Magnolia, Fresh Clementine, Blooming Gardenia, Spring Sandalwood, and Golden Honey. I love this scent. I don't know why I never got it sooner. It's so amazing. It's so sweet, and it smells so good. Like, if they made this, like, in food form, I would eat it. It smells so yummy. Okay, I'm going to put those down because I have a bunch. But, yeah, I bought ten. I stocked up. Um, then I have two of the Sunset Guava Culada, which is sun-kissed guava, pink passion fruit, wild orchid, and sugared coconut. Um... Honestly, it's okay. I think I just bought it to buy it. Like I said, last summer I kind of was like, went uh, crazy and just started buying stuff to have like the lines because uh, I didn't want to like not have it and like regret it. Um, it's okay. It's not a bad scent, just not my favorite. My poor cat's like trying to get in the video. Uh, then it's A Thousand Wishes, which smells really good. It's pink Prosecco, sparkling that quince or quince, uh, crystal pe peonies, uh, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. I'll show you guys the back so you guys can read it if it focuses. I'm not sure if it will. Um, it's a good scent. I like it. It's really perfumey and like... Almost like a mature woman smell. It's not a... 
I wouldn't recommend this for like a young girl. I don't think they would really like it. But that's just my opinion. I know my grandma really likes it. So I mean, my grandma's almost 90. So it's more of a mature woman scent. Then I have Mad About You. I just discovered the scent this season. SAS. And I really love it. It's a blend of black currant, bright peony, and pink jasmine kissed with white patchouli and vanilla musk. I like it because the patchouli is very light, um, which is good because my boyfriend absolutely hates patchouli. Uh, he calls it hippie juice. So, and then I have Tahiti Island Dream. I have one of these. I really like this scent. I just, I mean, I'll probably, like, if I run, after I run out of this one, I would I repurchase it? Yes. Um, but I have so much other stuff to use up. It's not like on my have to buy right after I get done with it. It's fresh coconut water, sparkling mandarin, kiwi blossom, lush franapia pinna or whatever, Tahitian vanilla musk. I'll show you the back so you guys can see that F word that I can't pronounce. I've like mistakenly chopped it up like five times already so we're not gonna try again then i got vanilla bean for the first time i didn't smell this last year when it came out but everyone was like you have to get it it smells like a cupcake and it's fluffy vanilla whipped or whipped white orchid toasted tonka and whipped uh cream or creme um it just smells like a creamy vanilla scent. I wouldn't say this per se smells like a cupcake, but it smells very nice and vanilla-y. It smells like a, not a vanilla sugar cookie, but like a cream cheese vanilla sugar cookie kind of thing. And then I got fresh uh, blackberry. I got blackberry and basil, and it is fresh blackberry, pink palmetto, sweet basil, and jasmine petals. I like it because you can't smell the sweet basil. At least I don't smell it. Because basil can be really overpowering sometimes. It just smells like a very fruity scent. I love this scent. I only have one. Um, I don't really regret buying more than not buying more than one. Because I mean I like it. But if when I run out I don't, you know, I'm not going to be upset. So. Um, and if I see it in next year's essay or next summer's essay, I might pick up another one. But I don't entirely need one. This winter. Then I have three of these. Um, Wild Strawberry Leaf, which is, uh, I think it basically is a repackage of Bourbon Strawberry. I know everyone is like, no, it's not. No, it's not. To me, that's what it smells like, so that's what I'm going with. And it is Garden Berries, Sparkling Citrus, Pink Peony, and Strawberry Leaf. It smells really good, but I still say it's like a repackage of uh, Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla. Then I have three, I think I only have, no, oh, I have two. I thought I had three. Nope, I have two Georgia Peach and Sweet Teas. I like this. It's super sweet and real fruity. It's Georgia Peach, Sweet Tea, White Nectarine, Apple Blossom, and Jasmine Petals. Um, I want to see if I can smell the... See, this one I don't really smell the tea in. I know, like, the body cream form, you can kind of smell the sweet tea, but... This just is a nice peachy scent. I went on a craze and bought a lot of peach stuff the first summer I decided to do SAS. I don't know why, but I think I was like looking for anything fruity that smelled good. I have pretty, pretty as a peach. I have two of them and it's blushing peach, jasmine petals, white nectarine, apple blossom, and sheer freesia. It's a nice scent. I like it. I don't think I'd repurchase it again, so once it's gone, it's gone, I'm good. Because that means I can make some more room for other stuff that I want to buy. Then I got two uh, Get Happy White Peach Sangrias. And it's White Peach Nectar, Fresh Tangerine, Sparkling Prosecco, Sweet Hibiscus, and Golden Sugar. Let me smell it, because I, I have had it for a year, and I can't remember what it smells like. It's okay. Um, it smells like, like what you would think of peach sangria would smell like. It smells like peaches and a little wine. I don't think I would repurchase this after I'm out of it. It's not my favorite, but 
I got two of them, so I'll use it up. I forgot I got these, to be perfectly honest with you, and it's beach water coconut. The reason I got these is I think somebody at one of the sales associates at, like, the smaller store I go to was like, you got to try this. It's so good. And if you don't like coconut, this doesn't smell like coconut, even though it has coconut in it. And it's true. It kind of smells like a cologne almost. It's creamy coconut milk, sparkling bergamot, bamboo leaves, and salt water musk. Um, I like it. I'd like if they ever came out with it again, it's not like one I would like jump to buy, but it's a nice, it's a nice change of what I normally carry. Um, and then I have Picnic Summer Daisies. Honestly, I don't know why I got the scent. Uh, it's crisp hair, summer daisies, honeysuckle, and fresh nectarine, because I hate honeysuckle. Um, I hate the honeysuckle bath and body work scent. Yeah, I don't know why I got this one. I actually don't like it. Um, so I'll use these up as fast as I can. I think I only got it in this form. Um, I don't remember seeing it in lotion form when I went through stuff. So again, I think this was an impulse buy and I uh, was just trying to buy it to buy it because it might have been on like SAS for like three bucks or something back in the day. But uh, not a big fan of it. This I am a big fan of. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten of these, but I'll only show you two. It's the strawberry uh, or sweet escape strawberry picnic. I love this scent. Um, I can't get enough of this scent. I wish I had more of it, but I think ten shower gels are enough. Um, I have it's fresh picked strawberries, juicy melon, pink wild wildflowers, sun kissed oak, and dewy um, musk. I love this scent. It's just a really nice fruity sweet scent and it like my boyfriend likes this scent when I wear it in the summertime so I had to stock up. And that concludes my entire shower gel collection. I'm gonna try to do my body sprays which I don't think I have too many different ones from what I read out here. Um, but yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did Please subscribe below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I upload a new video. And I hope everyone has a great night. Bye.